cool water fountain this one. I went quite late in the day so I didn't need to use any ND filters to get that smooth silky effect on the water. Just the low light gives me a nice long exposure of uh, three seconds in this case. Um, before we edit this photo I just want to show you quickly what a circular polarizer can do for your image. So I've got this image here which was taken without a circular polarizer. You can see the exposure time was three seconds. Uh, ISO 100, 70 mil, F13. Um, without the circular polarizer on you get uh, quite a lot of reflection on the water which gives it this milky white sort of look. Now when you put the polarizer on it takes those reflections off a little bit in this case and you can see here it's actually doubled the exposure time to six seconds. So I'll just swap between the two. So let's edit this picture. First thing we're going to do is crop it. Just going to bring it so it's right in the center. We're going to do our standard camera corrections. Remove chromatic aberration. Probably not much aberration in this image and enable profile corrections. You'll see it'll correct the distortion of the lens when I do that. Just a little bit. Now we're just going to go down through the basic panel. Usually go from top to bottom. I'm just going to drop the exposure a little bit. You can see here these lights are overexposed. So they're blown highlights. So I'm just going to drop that. We might just high tick that so we can see what's going on. I'll just drop the exposure a little bit and just drop the highlights. There we go. As soon as we drop the highlights enough, those blown highlights disappeared. This was shot in RAW format. If it was shot in JPEG, it would be a lot harder to recover those highlights. Might just increase the shadows a little bit. Also might just increase the contrast just to give the image a bit more punch. Now I'm also going to hold down the Option key just increase the whites just until those are blown about there Whoop, we might drop it down a little bit and we're going to decrease the blacks so anything that's coming up in blue and black it's pretty much pure black so we want to increase it just enough so it's not pure black so around about there I'm going to increase the clarity a little bit. So it's like uh, clarity gives a bit of contrast to the edges of the image, I believe. And as you can see, as we adjust the sliders, we might need to redo some of the others. And I'm going to give the image a bit more punch, a bit more vibrancy. I might increase the saturation a bit on this one too. Looking better. So now I might just increase the detail a little bit, just increase the sharpening. Let's zoom in, see what's happening here. And what we want to do, we want to mask that sharpening so it doesn't sharpen all these bits of the trees, it only sharpens pretty much the hard edges. So you just hold mask, hold down the option button on Mac, and just slide that over until you're only getting the edges sharpened. That reduces your chances of getting background grain in the image. I'd increase the contrast a little bit. Uh, the other thing I'm not happy with, it seems like the white balance is slightly off as well, so we might just grab the dropper, pick an area maybe where this water is and you'll see it'll warm up the image a bit yeah it's looking better a bit more contrast I think that is looking pretty good we might just remove that little bit of a sticker down there so let's use the healing brush just dab that down oh there we go and a bit there that see how it looks yep that's pretty good I think that's looking 
pretty good for a final image. All right, let's just check the before and have a look again at the after. Quick edit on a waterfall. Here's some more photos from around Hyde Park.